fell out of that strange hole in the sky. Clever girl. Mother says I meddle. Perhaps. I know everything. Ask me. Is the shore safe? Yes. Sometimes those evil fish people creep out of the water and drive off the funny fishermen. I hide under the fisherman's hut. Clever. Of course. Do you know who I am? You have white hair, like every grandpa. You're ugly, but I like you. That's lucky. I know everything. Ask me. I saw a city. The submerged city of an ancient race full of treasure and monsters. Now fish people live there. I fear them, but the one sitting by the statue of the lady seems jolly. I'm losing track. And I sometimes take fish to the sick and poor elves when the fisher king catches them. And on the island you can meet the lady. More beautiful than Alina. She yearns too. I'm completely lost. Stupid adults. How can you take care of us when you don't understand and you're always yearning? What's happened here recently? Alina, the village chief's daughter, will soon marry. For gold, Mother says. Right. Mother also says Alina's sister, Selina, yearns for Julian. He's Alina's fiancé who lives at the inn. What does yearn mean? She really likes Julian. Oh, then Julian yearns for Alina, Selina yearns for Julian, and Alina likes Julian's gold but yearns for Adam. Adults are stupid. Undeniably. I know everything. Ask me. What is this place? This is the shore. Beyond lies murky waters, and beyond that, fields. By boat, you can get to the island. You do know a lot. I know everything. Ask me. Take care. Where's my cat? And I'm Geralt. Pleased to meet you. I don't speak your language. Your language I speak very well. Evidently. Let's talk. Kneel before lady. Speak easy. No kneel. Must be Dagonan and Bata. No speak. So I'm to pay tribute to the Lady of the Lake? Exact. All right. What's Witcher in your language? Witch Malal Bull. Witch Malal? Witch Malal Bull. Bull must be. No, Bull means idiot. <laughs> All right, then I'm Witch Malal Bull. <laughs> yes, so you be. <laughs> Everything all right? Great sadness. No peace in house. I'm sorry to hear that. Talk. Good pull tal who. Got any work for someone skilled with a sword? Good bull. Humans great enemies to Vodianoi. Hire Witcher Big for Vodianoi to kill. Witcher Big at Crypt. We love we humans. Yet humans swim our waters. Did I hear you right? Another Witcher? Gralol, exact, disloving ghouls at Crypt. I need to speak to him. Farewell. Welcome, warrior. Greetings. If not for my woes, I'd rejoice in a swim with you. What concerns you? Let's talk. Who are you? A naiad, a water nymph. I serve the Lady of the Lake. You mentioned woes. Terrible indeed. I lost my turquoise necklace as I swam in moonlight, a gift from the Lady of the Lake. Where did you swim? I usually bathe in the lake, yet that night I dared the river near the village. 
Sadly, the drowners abide there, led by Zephyr. Who's Zephyr? Once one of Vizima's most famous thieves. He moved as quietly as the wind, and quite handsome. And now? He once escaped to the sewers, but his loot proved too heavy. He joined the drowned dead, but old habits rarely die as easily. He still steals? Of course. Doubtless he stole my necklace. The drowners ever protect him. I'll search for your necklace. How wonderful! I have no gold with which to pay, but perhaps some trinkets could prove useful. It's a deal, then. I shall await you at the end of the beach, in an enchanting lagoon. How do I find Zephyr? If you slay enough drowners, he'll appear to discover the problem. Remember, drowners only venture out at night. Where do I find the drowners protecting Zephyr? They gather at night here on the shore. If you borrow a boat, you may reach the island where you'll find others. Some linger near the village. How can I reach Blackturn Island? A fisherman lives by the shore. He may lend you his boat. Farewell. Berengar, mysterious witcher and outcast. I finally found him. What do you want, witcher? I've been looking for you, Berengar, for some time. I have some questions. You mean you're not looking for that legendary suit of armor? Well, you'll have to wait, because a wraith and some brookside will be here any minute. You think you can handle them? Think I can't? <laughs> Fine. Play tough. As that old stooge Vesemir used to say, let's fight and see. I can hear them coming. Get ready. I've been ready since childhood. Those bastards at Kaer Morhen sort of that. Nice style, but not perfect. During a half pirouette, you leave your groin unprotected. I don't think so. I'll demonstrate when we get out of here. I don't intend to discuss swordplay. What do you know about Salamandra? <laughs> Straight to the point. Know why I'm laughing, Geralt? No. I'm laughing at you. So, witchily, fast, deadly, and sure of yourself. With your unwavering sense of what's right. Think you're better than me? I don't know, but I don't want to fight you. Oh, that's right. The code forbids it. Watch it. Here they come again.
That was easy enough. Berengar, I'm not about to get killed by a few Bruxae, if that's what you were hoping for. Let's talk. Who said I wanted to talk? You gonna force me? I hadn't intended to. I was thinking. That since we're both witchers, somehow we'd come to an agreement? To me, you're no better than that scoundrel the professor. You're just a bigger hypocrite. So you worked with Salamandra after all? I never said that. Shit. Looks like we're done here. Can we talk? Fine, but not here. Let's go outside. Sit by my fire. Finally. All right, what's so urgent? I'd best start at the beginning. What's your connection to Salamandra? What the hell? It's a simple story. They found me some time ago, and the professor made me an offer I couldn't refuse. You know the kind. Help us, or we'll feed you your balls. I did what I had to do. It's funny. They remind me of witchers. Never had a choice, with them or you. The witchers made me a mutant. The professor made me a criminal. An outcast, twice over. I escaped as soon as I could. They got nothing out of me. I didn't sell anyone out. And then I came here. You mentioned an imperfection in my defense. Yes. You leave your groin open when you do a half spin. A beginner would notice. I even know why. Care to tell me? To do a half spin correctly, you need to have both legs in working order. One of yours was crushed once. Possibly. So it goes. Live by the sword, die by the sword. You mentioned a suit of armor? You don't know the legend? I thought every little witcher had heard it. Tell me. The legend, as legends do, tells of a great warrior. It's more boring than Dandelion's ballad about you, which is hardly possible. But it turns out our hero employed witcher's fighting techniques while wearing armor. Was he a witcher? Who knows? Sounds interesting. They called him Raven. He had connections to gnome inventors with superior technical knowledge. In their secret workshops beneath Mount Carbon, they created a suit of armor both durable and light. Perfect for a witcher. A legendary suit of armor. I should do some treasure hunting. Good luck. I suspect Raven was buried in it, and I have long scoured cemeteries in hopes of finding it. Know anyone who could tell me more about the armor? The local blacksmith is an inventor and knows the legend. You could also try the Elven Handyman. I'll do that. Yeah. I heard you're attempting to resolve the conflict between humans and the Vodianoi. What? Did they send you here to dissolve my contract? Fine by me. Take it. What contract? The one negotiating a peace between humans and the Vodianoi. Both sides came to me. I have no intention of pursuing it, and the job will fit your sainted legend perfectly. Do I sense envy? Don't flatter yourself. I have only contempt for people like you. Don't digress. My take? Call one of the two sides, and the rest will fall into place. Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? 
by the Lady of the Lake's altar on the shore. Sometimes the dragon worshippers drive him away, so wait for him, if it's not beneath you. I see. Yeah. Farewell. You're the Fisher King, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I have a professional interest in the area. You see, I'm a witcher. Any monsters in the lake? Hmm. Amphis Benas? Dragonflies? Water creepers? No. Hmm. I see. The lake's safe. While we're talking. Hmm. I'm looking for a Vodian priest. Oh. Mm. I think I know what you mean. I saw some nasty-looking Vodianoi on the shore. Did they drive the priest away? Uh-huh. Well, I hope they haven't scared him off for good. Hmm. Could I use your boat? Mm hmm Take care.
Welcome, Geralt. Forgive me. I don't remember your name. For you do not know it, but I know you. By reputation. I should warn you Dandelion takes many liberties in his ballads. I have confidence in my source. The mermaid, Sheenaz. Mermaid? Yes. Why are you surprised? What did Sheenaz tell you? That you prevented conflict between the Prince of Aglival and the inhabitants of the underwater city of Iz. Thanks to you and your friends, humans and the Vodianoi of Iz tolerate one another. Encouraging. I hope all goes well here. Sheenaz mentioned your intelligence. I invite you to use it. Speak with the Vodianoi chaplain and the human named Julian. Who are you? They call me the Lady of the Lake. Is that a talkative fisherman your servant? Servant, no. Women on occasion need men. To secure food and protection, naturally. I see. Hosts of knights once defended my honor. But that was long ago. My poor sickly fisher king alone remains. Milady, where can I find the Vodianoi priest? At my altar, on the shore. Though Dagon's worshippers occasionally drive him away. I see. Yes? Milady, what happened to those hosts in shining armor? I fought the legend of the Holy Grail. My bold knights, I know not why, determined to embark on a mission. They claimed it their destiny to find the Holy Grail. Alas, my powers cannot vanquish destiny. I failed at guiding the poor wretches onto the right path. The Grail was never found? Just so. Know you the legend of the Grail? I lost my memory. Speak with a hermit watching over the graves of those brave seekers. Though boring, he knows the Grail's legend perfectly. I'll visit him. If you return intent on a mission of paramount importance, believe me, I can be unpleasant. Milady, they say I returned to life but lost my memory. Can you help me? I know you didn't return by chance. First, you must answer. Do you believe in destiny? I am master of my own fate. I trust that in uttering those words you understand their weight. Rejecting destiny renders you responsible for all your choices, good and bad. So be it. Strong in character. Indeed. You will regain your identity. I honor your wish to forge your fate. Know that you bear both my blessing and my favor. Thank you, milady. I have one more question. Yes? Milady, you look pensive. Sometimes I see the future, Witcher. Destiny has entangled its threads round a Witcher. His path leads into a dark future, into sadness and pain. I wish to help him survive. Who is it, milady? You, or Berengar. Speak with him, and may one of you take up Destiny's thread. I'll speak to Berengar. Yes? Milady, can I do anything for you? The peace of my land has been disturbed. The humans and the Vodianoi quarrel due to greed, fear, and misunderstanding. I assume each side has an informal leader. You assume correctly. You may speak to the Vodianoi priest near my statue. Julian represents the humans. I'll tend to this. Who is in the right? It's not about who's right. I want them to reconcile. Then you must slay Dagon. To do so, bring me objects symbolizing harmony from both communities. I'll return soon. You will find clues on the nature of these objects on the statue.
When I behold you, I wonder why they call us outcasts. When will we stop fleeing? Geralt, I'm not surprised to see you. It's me, Chiridan. Recognize me? Chiridan? Apparently not. You were busy. It's been some time. True, Geralt. And see what's come of it. A mess, not assimilation. You work hard, you pay taxes, then come the pogroms. You flee as they torch your tavern. Hard times. Good you're here. Any plans? I'll get another business running. When will this end? Good you're here. Why are you here? Same as the rest, eating berries and dreaming of my place on Earth. Try doing something else. Guerrilla warfare can be dangerous. I've survived that. Humans prevented me from living as I wished to. Disdainful times. More bad luck round the corner. Farewell. Kedmil Vakern. Greetings. Who are you? When the chaos of war surrounds us, few care for beauty and harmony. I ensure that beauty remains in the world. I create customized objects. You're a craftsman? Craftsmen produce useful items. The beauty of my works could awaken the dead. I'm looking for information on Raven's armor. The legendary Witcher's armor. It has unique magical qualities. I'm listening. It was made in the gnomes' workshops, but finished by elves. The songmaster, Tayin Sal, took an interest in Raven's armor and worked for twelve days straight, each movement of his chisel accompanied by a song of power. Legend says that in battle, the armor sang for Raven a song of victory, adding to his confidence and calming him. A beautiful story. Do you know if any records of these songs remain? I would look in crypts if I were you. Find the tomb of the elven songmaster. Objects belonging to him in life must lie in or near his sarcophagus. There are quite a number of you here. We escaped from Vizima. The wounded and sick lie in the cave. If you'd like, speak with our leader, Teruvio. Any trouble from the inhabitants here? The Lady of the Lake reigns in this land. We're safe here, though I have heard of conflict with the Vodianoi. The Lady of the Lake? The goddess of this land. Listen to the bubbling waters, the whispering of the trees. Look at the waving grains, the smiling people. You'll sense it too. I think I get it. You'll understand when you meet her. Farewell. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Alf. Have you forgotten me? Much time has passed since our encounter at the end of the world. I lost my memory. No matter. I am called Teruvial, and I am pleased to find you again. Me too. What brings you here? You mentioned we met. In Dol Blatana, the Valley of the Flowers. A most beautiful place. I granted Dandelion the lute he now plays. Meeting you changed me. I once hated humans without exception. Your words planted doubt. When the war brought all that hatred, I realized there was another way. I'm glad. As am I, Witcher. Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We're wounded and hungry. Negotiations with the peasants went poorly. Our dignity is all we have left. What can I do? You could buy fresh bread. Twenty orange should cover five loaves. I'll return soon. I'll soon fade like stars when dawn comes. Yeah? Have you spoken with the Lady of the Lake? Goddesses don't speak to mere mortals. Spare me the sarcasm. 
So what momentous news did the local goddess divulge? Just don't get all momentous on me. She spoke about destiny. Destiny doesn't interest me. But if you want to play hero, be my guest. I'll even help. See, I tricked you recently. What? Salamandra actually forced me to betray a few formulae. Subjected me to some tests. I didn't even protest. They paid me well. Why? You know why. I wanted to marry, have children, friends, a normal life. The witches robbed me of that chance. This is nothing new to you. Humans hate me. When they see my eyes, they blanch in fear. And children... Tell me, what's the difference between your dear Camoran and a Salamandra lab? I'm not here to tell you I'm any better than you. Leave. The mere sight of you irks me. I'm beginning to doubt myself. Farewell. Gerald. Dandelion. How did you get here? By teleport. Triss teleported me, too. It was amazing. I always wanted to see what it's like. She did that for you? Must be having an off day. So why did Triss teleport you here? Let's say she saved me from the kiss of death. Interesting. Perhaps I'll use it in my new ballad. In any case, what a truly delightful place. Triss said we should stay here until Princess Ada stops dreaming of slitting your throat. I have to agree. So, tell me about this place, in prose, if you don't mind. It's a charming area, thoroughly magical in its mood. The peasants seem altogether happy, while the peasant women are, uh, hmm. Dandelion, something specific? Well, there's gonna be a wedding. Alina, the village mayor's daughter, will marry Julian, a wealthy merchant from Kovir. Then there, the Vodianoi. Oh, Alina's taking care of Alvin. Our Alvin? Well, yes, unless he has a twin. Dandelion. Yes. Oh, I just remembered. Triss said you should watch him since others are after him. Or something like that. Anything else? I don't think so. Now to the tavern to meet some charming lass who'll get my spirits up.
Yes? Oh, my back! Your Fight mother always likes cock. cock cock! I heard you beat Butterbean and Fat Fred. And Gablada. I'm looking for a worthy opponent. Then welcome. They call me The Rock. Sounds ominous. Want to fight a real champion? What's the wager? 500 orins. I'm in. No challengers. <laughs> Congratulations, champ. Before you collect your reward, now another fight awaits. Who with? Go to the swamp, where you'll meet the Nameless One. Choose your reward. I'll take the best of all runes. Here. Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. What's up? Soon I'll marry the village mayor's daughter, Alina. We're planning our wedding as we speak. Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather, may Melitelli watch over his soul, had a plot of land. A piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir, and a deserted coal mine with no coal. Grandfather always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped. But soon it became clear that Grandfather had gone mad, that there was no treasure. When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of bobolac scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. The gods answered. There was a terrible rumble, and an avalanche descended on the valley. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow, and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering strangely, glimmering so beautifully that he nearly didn't see the beast coming towards him with a heavy gait. Grandfather fled bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. In short, he escaped. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster in exchange for a silver penny. They returned to the valley, and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him earlier. Grandfather grew to trust him and knew that sooner or later someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure, for the treasure in the valley was immense, Geralt. Diamond deposits that took years to extract. They became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir, and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. I'm here about the notice. I'll buy any basilisk hides you have. Reptile skin shoes are in fashion in Vizima, you know. I have three hides. Let me have a look. Undamaged, excellent. Here's your reward. An agreement with the Vodianoi is possible. Think so. That is the will of the Lady of the Lake. Care to take issue? No, Witcher. I'm no fool. In that case, 
I'll need something that symbolizes your devotion to her and your desire to achieve peace with the Vodianoi. Of course. What shall I give you? The alabaster figure depicting a young Vodianoi capturing a water elemental. Here it is. It would have fetched a fine price in Vizima, but peace is more important. We shall speak later. Gerald? Jak gwiazdy nad traktem Twoje oczy Jak kielich rozkoszy Usta Twe Gerald? So, what will the new ballad be about? It'll be a masterpiece, in verse. Interesting, horrifying, romantic. And the story? Engaging and straight from life. I changed my mind, see? Poets don't need to embellish. Life is colorful enough. Aim to write about peasants working the fields? Dandelion, I know you better than that. Not as well as you think. You'll see. What happened in Vizima after I disappeared? Who knows? I left soon after you. Though I did hear that you staged quite a bloodbath. Sometimes killing is necessary. Now don't get offended, but has killing people become a pleasure for you? Salamanders and their kind deserve to die. I won't judge you. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. Gerald? See ya. Greetings, sir. Spacious tavern. What? You think everything's small in the country? I meant no offense. How can I help? I saw your notice. Ah, I need wyvern eggs for my famous omelets. Here are three. Wonderful. Here's your coin. How can I help? One thing. Yes? You look sad. Can I help? Perhaps. Crooked Lou and Bucktooth Bone stole a case of best fire water. Return it, and a useful artifact is yours. What artifact? It was a jest. Not funny. Your question reminded me of some old games. I couldn't resist. Hmm. No matter. How can I help? Any interesting news? A wedding, that's what. The mayor's daughter, Elena, is marrying a townsman called Julian. 
He's staying here at my inn. Where's the village mayor? There's a large hut in the village where the mayor spends his time. But he lives in another large hut, so... I'll find it. How can I help? One thing. Yes? You must know some interesting stories. Sure. I'm an innkeeper. <clears throat> Long ago, in a valley far away, lived a girl. She was a true princess, sorceress, and witcheress. All three? Isn't that a bit much? Don't interrupt. You want to hear the story or not? I won't interrupt again. A story about destiny might prove useful, Witcher. She was born a princess who wanted for nothing, had loving parents and a grandmother who was a great queen. She lived in palaces guarded by hundreds of knights. Everyone thought she'd become a powerful queen, but fate had other plans. Her parents died. Enemies butchered her grandmother and took the kingdom. Still, the princess survived. Her fate became bound to one particular witcher. She gained a new family at Caer Moran, the hold of the witchers. She learned to fight, yet destiny once again made noise. The lass had magical talent. She was a source. The witchers feared the uncontrolled power of a source and needed a sorceress to assist them. She studied arcane magic. The sorceress loved a witcher and the two adopted the girl. She was truly happy and could have become a powerful sorceress. But war broke out and fate separated the family. Aggrieved, the lass disavowed magic and became a huntress, learning to love killing. Death followed her. Everyone she'd loved had died. Only the witcher and the sorceress denied death's calling. Fate cast her to foreign shores, yet she returned. The worst assassin tailed her, yet she emerged victorious. Agents of all kingdoms pursued her, yet none caught her. When she killed all her enemies and peace descended upon the world, she rejoined the witcher and sorceress only to have destiny sneer at her again. What happened? A peasant, unskilled in arms, killed the witcher. The sorceress died trying to revive him. The girl could do nothing, for she disavowed magic. So the princess who would not rule, the witcheress who fought humans, and the sorceress who cast no spells used her power as a means to leave this world. I sense you haven't told all. All but one. Her name was Cyrilla. What's that matter? Farewell. Greetings again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest secret. You haven't changed a bit. I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> In truth, I have changed. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. Why don't you live in the village? Witches live outside villages, as they always have. You must accept that. Abigail, remember the cave? The past is past, nothing more. Did you post this notice? About the devourer's teeth? I need ten for a love potion. Then I'm off to hunt devourers. I await your catch.
Let's talk. I have your necklace. Splendid. Now your reward. I'll grant you a book on the Vodianoi. The Earth Rune, or I'll treat your wounds whenever you need. I'd like to be your lifelong patient. I knew you would choose so. Always, when you come to me, I shall tend to your wounds. Thank you. Take this token as a memento. The amulet will protect you from drowners. Clearly my vision pertained to you, Geralt. If you say so. When the time comes, I shall aid you with a gift. Yes? Milady, are these what you wanted? Try again, Witcher. Very well. Back to Julian and the priest. Yes? Milady, you assigned me a task. I expected gifts from both humans and Vodianoi. You followed the aroma of my fresh bread? You could say that. All my goods contain finest flour and a secret ingredient from a grateful nymph. I need something. How may I help? I've got 20 orans for five loaves of bread. Bread is five orans a loaf, and five loaves will be 25 orans. How may I help? Have any other secret ingredients? Sadly. Though I know one recipe I haven't been able to try. What's that? Can't say. I would need white honey. Though I know not what that is. You know what witches do? Of course. Witches are like sorcerers, but worse. Worse? Yeah. Their balls are wilted. Hmm. I'll leave. Got one in the family? Ooh, bad luck. How may I help? White honey! Incredible! I could now try my secret recipe. Can I? Take the doll and go before I change my mind. Yes? I bought bread. I'm pleased we didn't misplace our trust. 
Here, five loaves. I thank you. Moments like these make me think we can end this spiral of hatred and accept each other as we are.